Ladies, in this video, we are going to be discussing a vision and the importance in visualizing where you see yourself in the future. This is probably one of my favorite topics to talk about. Um, it is because I can attribute a lot of my success physically, financially, um, career-wise to vision. Everything starts with a vision. I have a friend that has a an, uh, an eyeglass, uh, sunglass brand, and it's called Swab, uh, which stands for starts with a vision. But everything starts with a vision. Everything starts with you seeing it appear first. It starts with you seeing it appear first. That's how my weight loss started. That's how my weight gain and muscle building started. That's how her brilliance started. That's how everything started. It started up here first. I saw myself smaller. I saw myself more attractive. I saw myself in a bikini. I saw myself on a beach. I saw myself in a magazine. I saw myself, honey, I saw it. And the importance of a vision is that it is very much enforcing into your subconscious what is real what you want and what is real. So for me, if I see a picture of Beyonce, which this was a very big deal for me, especially starting out in my journey, I would see women that I um, were motivated and inspired by, whether they were models, musicians, um, actresses, or whatever, they had awesome bodies. And I'm like, sis, you look good. I can't wait until I look like that. And I would make them the screensaver on my phone so I could visually see that representation every time I open my phone. And how many times do you look at your phone screen a day? You probably don't even realize how often it is. You probably look at it over, I'm sure, over a couple hundred times a day. Depending on, you know, who you are. You look at your screen unconsciously. A lot of times you're not even paying attention to the wallpaper, but subconsciously you're seeing it. That's why wallpapers are so important. Um, you subconsciously are seeing it. You may not be paying quite a, quite a bit of attention to it, but you're reinforcing it every time you look at it, right? Repetition, repetition, repetition. So I'm big on vision boards. I actually just created a new vision board last week, um, updated vision board because it's been a while since I created a new one. And I, in love with it, it's posted right on the side of my bed on my closet door um and i can see it every morning when i wake up right before i go to sleep um throughout the day i can go to it and it is re like i said it's reinforcing it's marinating it's beating it into my my subconscious and your subconscious is the part of your brain that controls 95 percent of your life and most people don't realize that people think it's your conscious brain the logical one the one where you sit down and you read and it's no it's the, it's the beliefs, it's the visions that you see, it's what you consume unconsciously. That's the subconscious that controls your life. So vision is pivotal. And what I want you guys to do is get very crystal clear on your vision of where you see yourself um, in relation to your goals. It's a little bit different than just talking about goals. When I say vision, I want you to get down to the nitty gritty, just like I did when I got into my journey. When I say, I started off at 180 pounds, baby, and I knew I was going to get to this point where I look and feel how I do now. I saw it. I saw this 10 years ago. I saw this. I saw all of this in my head. I saw all of it. And if anything you can see, you can achieve anything. You wouldn't be able to physically fathom anything that you couldn't make a reality. And I want you to remember that. So the only thing getting in your way is yourself. I digress. But back to my point. <laughs> You have to envision it. So what I want you to do is sit there, get your notebook, and I want you to think of the woman that you see yourself as in the future. Whether that's six months from now, whether that's a year from now, whether that's five years from now. I want you to really envision and embody that woman. What would that woman be doing on a day-to-day -day basis? What would that woman be eating? What type of clothes would she be wearing? How will people see her? Right? How will people respect her? What, what size clothes will she be wearing? 
Yep. Will she be married? Will she be single? Will she be in a relationship? Will she be focusing on herself? I want you to get very clear. What brands will she be wearing? What what types? You know, I want you to get down. What car will she be driving? That's how clear your vision has to be. And the clearer and crisper it is in your mind, the better off you are. Because God, the universe, rewards clarity. So sit there and really get clear. That's how clear I get on everything. Honey, I knew how I wanted to look, what bathing suit I wanted to be wearing. This is when I was about 160, 170, 180 pounds. I was like, I know what, what bikini I'm about to be wearing, honey. I know how my legs are gonna look. I know, I know uh, how my lifestyle is gonna be. I'm gonna be working out regularly. I'm gonna be cooking regularly. I am going to be drinking smoothies. Back then, I didn't even know what the hell a smoothie was. I'm gonna be drinking smoothies, honey. I'm gonna be showing skin. I'm gonna have me a nice little, little, little mini skirt. I knew exactly how I wanted to be. And the only thing, the only thing that was in my way was time. Time was the only difference maker. I knew I would be become that woman. I knew I was becoming that woman in due time. And it's because it started with a vision. Vision is everything. Vision is everything. And this is like my personal testament. I can tell you I've achieved a lot in my life thus far. I I would consider a lot um, that the average person may not be able to say the same. Um, and I don't say this in a bragging way whatsoever. I'm saying this in a way that can help this message resonate with you. Um, but I've lived overseas, you know what I mean? I've drove, I've driven luxury cars. I built a brand from the ground up that's still continuing to grow and prosper. Um, I have, I have done a lot and it all, I literally will tell you, it all started with me seeing it in my head first, whether somebody planted that seed, whether God planted that seed or whether I planted that seed. I saw it in my head first, and that was what lit the fire for me. So you have to plant that seed in your head first, and that's where visualization comes in, right? Because first you visualize, then you materialize. Remember that, right? Check below this video for your homework assignment and post it in the group. I can't wait to see it, all right? See you guys soon.